Okay, so it's been um, quite a while since my last video and I've been dabbling with the thought of uh, using and playing with Linux. And so I finally did. So basically I installed Linux on one of my laptops and also in my virtual box on top of my Windows 10. So my host uh, OS would still be Windows 10 for this demo. But I have been using um, Ubuntu Linux uh, for the past couple of weeks already. Okay, so I'm still quite new to it. Um, I also have decided to use Ubuntu, so Ubuntu over other distros since it is one of the most user-friendly and easy to install Linux distribution. Although um, I have been playing around with FreeBSD and I'm also thinking of making a video on how to install it as well as uh, install some of the basic stuff like Apache Linux, MySQL on uh, FreeBSD. But right now I'll just be using Linux. Um, currently, I have Linux uh, Ubuntu 2020 um, installed on both my virtual box and also same with my laptop or in my laptop. Have not upgraded to Ubuntu 21 yet. And what I'll be showing you are some of the development tools that I have been using. Okay, uh, this would include Visual Studio Code. Maybe if uh, later I could also show you the alternative or the open source version, which is Codemium. Uh, I just found, found out recently about it uh, while playing with uh, uh, Ubuntu and um, XAMPP as well. So you might be thinking, uh, why in the heck would I install XAMPP since I can directly install PHP, Apache, and MySQL in Ubuntu? The answer is just simple. Uh, I'm still new to Linux, so it would take me quite some time to configure uh, all of those things. Okay. Although I have successfully installed um, Apache and PHP as well as um, MySQL server, but the thing about the MySQL client is uh, I'm still having trouble connecting to it. So I decided to reinstall everything and just uh, install XAMPP. At least it, it won't uh, hamper my work that much. Uh, you see, XAMPP is still the fastest way for me to uh, go. Okay, so let's now start. Um, the very first uh, thing that we are going to use or install is um, Visual Studio Code. Um, okay, so this is already my desktop, so I'm going to use my terminal. Open terminal, try to maximize it. Okay. To do up update set for the password okay let's just try to wait Packages okay. Next is I'm um, going to upgrade. Sudo up, upgrade. Okay. Yes. Uh, it would take quite some time, just to take quite a while since uh, my internet connection is kind of slow today, so 50 seconds left. Okay. okay, so um, all of the packages have uh, been upgraded and um, updated. So let's now proceed with the actual installation. Let's try to check if uh, uh, Snap has already been installed on my uh, on this particular uh, virtual uh, uh, session. Okay. Um, 
sudo snap install go dash dash classic okay as you can see it's already installing it's download currently downloading so that's 27 percent and a hundred fetch assertion mount stop core okay let's just try to wait first Okay. Um, okay, so as you can see already, we have here um, sudo after um, issuing the command sudo snap install code, um, code, uh, whatever, from Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Code installed. So as you can see, uh, we have already successfully installed the Visual Studio Code. So let's try to check if it's already on our application. So let's try to go to activities, then try to search for okay so this is already our visual studio code so we have already successfully installed our visual studio code okay, so this is it next thing that we oh, it's set uh, close and that's uh, what we need to do is we're we're going to um install our um exam so the very first thing that we are going to do is download first our exam okay Mozilla Firefox is ready. Okay. Let's try to go for it. Patchfriends.com. Let's try to look for it. download next app. It's that org, not that com. Sorry. Okay. For Linux, so we'll try to use um, this one. Download 64 bit. Okay, save file. Okay. It's just a quick download. I'll also be trying to show you how to uh, check if XAMPP has been um, successfully installed on our um, machine. Okay, so now again by default it's uh, actually found on your um, downloads folder. Okay, so this one, very much similar in, in, just like in your Windows machine. Okay, so it's also found in your um, downloads folder. Okay, so let's try to close this one so as this one okay okay cd okay so i've changed directory using the command um, cd uh, and then uh, forward slash Okay, then I'm uh, already inside my downloads folder. So ls, we have here already our um, exam. Okay, this is our exam installer. So before we can actually install our exam installer, we need to uh, uh, change its uh, permission. Okay. So how do we do that? How do we do that? Okay, 
So let's try to use this one. See. So do ch mod um, seven seven five five dash r then the file name. So all I have to do is copy. Take note also, guys, of the color. Copy. And I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so it's white. I've already and uh, uh, changed the permission to uh, seven five five. Let me check. It's already green. Okay, so next, once it's already green, it means that the permission have already been changed. So what we need to do next is um, try to install our um, Apache. Our, our, our exam so there is sudo dot dash then paste let's try to wait for the installation okay as you can see it's already installing so um set up example come to exam setup wizard and let's try to click next okay so uh core files development developer files let's try to click next Example be installed to dash opt lamp. So this is its default location in um, Ubuntu. Okay, so click next. Then learn more about Bitnami for example. All you have to do is click and tick it. Then click next. Then setup is now ready to begin installing XAMP on your computer. Okay, let's click next. Okay, let's try to uh, load. Okay, so we're almost done unpacking our files. Let's try to wait for a while. Um, it won't take that much time anymore. So um, I'm just trying to do a shortcut of everything because if I were to do everything and record everything, it would take quite some time. So I'm just trying to do a shortcut of everything. Just trying to um, broadcast only sa the once the installation is almost already done as you've noticed um so it's still unpacking files let's just try to wait okay so as you've noticed um xamp is already creating um an installer at 75 percent Okay, let's try to wait for some more time. It's almost already done. The installation is almost already done. So it won't take that uh, much time already. Okay, so um, setup, uh, completing the setup, uh, completing the exam setup wizard, setup has finished installing exam on your computer. So let's try to launch exam by clicking finish. Okay, so um, we have here the exam control panel. Um, go to application, open applications folder, visit Apache friends, and get started. Okay, so let's try to manage our servers. As you've noticed, once it's color, colored green, it means that the service is running. If it's colored red, it means it has it stopped. Okay, so it's not running. So let's try to, uh, the very first thing that I would normally do, even in my uh, Windows machine, is try to change the port number of my um, Apache web server. Um, this is again to avoid conflict with other applications that use the very same um, port number. So how do I do this one on XAM? So as you notice here, we have uh, four buttons. We have your start, stop, restart, and configure. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to click configure. Okay. So by default, the port number of my uh, Apache web server is port 80. So I don't want that since um, it's quite a common... Um, uh, port number. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to change it from 80 to 81, 81. Okay, then click OK. Uh, the, the new configuration re requires restarting the server. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want it to restart so that uh, it will refresh my uh, new port number. Okay. Okay, so it's already running. So next is um, I only want um, to applications to run so my apache web server and my mysql database so i'm going to click my mysql database or select my mysql database and click start i don't need to configure anything since uh everything is just by default okay so 
uh, I leave it as is. Then I'm going to uh, check. So as you've noticed, it's already green. Okay. So I try to check if it's already running. Um, if I'm going to go to open my uh, Firefox web browser, then um, type localhost colon 8181. So that's my port number that I assigned. Then press enter. So I've already installed my um, Apache. This is already it's already up and running. Then if you were to click my uh, PHP me admin. So these are all the database found on my XAMPP. Okay. Now there's still one more thing that we need to do before we can actually do the actual code. We, we still need to set the permission of our HT Docs uh, folder in our um, XAMPP. Now by default in Windows, there's no need for us to change the permission. But since we're, since we're talking about um, Linux, um, everything, uh, or we, we still need to change the permission of our HT Docs folder. Okay, so let's try to since um ch uh, okay let's try to issue the command um sudo chmod dash r seven 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 ht docs ht docs okay as you've noticed already ht docs has a has a highlight colored highlight green color so it means it is uh is already or the permission has been changed already. So let's try to enter or let's try to get inside our htdoc folder, cdht docs. Okay. Then let's try to create a folder or another folder called web projects. So make directory web projects. Okay. Now again, um, we also need to change the permission of our web projects folder. Okay. So let's try to do this one again. Um, sudo chmod dash r777 web projects enter then press ls okay so um as you've noticed it's already, uh, the, the permission has already been changed okay so ls web cd web projects so it doesn't contain any files yet um if you are to view the this one inside our um, XAMP. What we need to do is just change PHP admin to web projects. So we already have our, we already inside our web projects. Okay, so that's uh, just a simple um, tutorial on how to uh, install XAMP as well as um, install um, Visual Studio Code in Ubuntu. Okay, so have a nice day, guys.